And by the way, happy White History Month. For those who don't know, July is White History Month. I started this month uh, this uh, because white people are not recognized and appreciated. And if it wasn't for white Americans, there would be no America. All right. And all these POCs, people of color, who are coming here and who are already here, and you're angry at the white people, if it wasn't for them, you'd be stuck in your asshole countries. From this point forward, July is White History Month. All right? Tell everybody and their mama about it as well. I don't know where you where you got your, your school in that, but your vocabulary is horrible. I know. Isn't that so, a it's mess? Horrible. A and mess. You sitting, and you, I don't understand it's how a they, mess. They, they put you on, on, on television. All the white guys behind them. You need to take lessons from these guys. Okay, I will. But that's good advice. It's so amazing to me, too, that I run a national organization for 28 years that I founded. I write books up and down the coast. I give public speak speeches around the country and been invited to do it around the world. I, I do a radio and a national TV show. I can barely speak English. I have a cleft lip and all that, so I, my palate it's a mess. It's all from God. I don't well, understand did, it either. I, I, how did you get that job, is my point. God? I'm older than you, Jesse. I'm 71 years old. I'm older than you. And, and you I live still, a very, and I'm, retired, still, I'm retired, and I live better than you. And you're still angry, insecure, No, I'm not emotional. angry. I just, I, just, well, I just want you to know, how did you get a <laughs> job, and you can't, you can't, your vocabulary is horrible. But it, it's not so bad that it, get, it didn't get your attention and made you call in. I don't understand uh -huh. how people listen, can hear you, man, can understand you. The same way you are. You should be grateful that white people founded and created the greatest country on this side of heaven so that you would not be stuck in Africa or somewhere. <laughs> well, so I wouldn't be stuck in Africa. Oh, yeah. Well, then, you know what? <laughs> you, you, can, you can conclude yourself in that, uh, Jesse. Well, I am grateful. That's why I started well, and you, founded you can, you, uh, White History Month because I'm yeah, grateful. Well, you, well, are you, you started, grateful? White folks didn't start it. No, I started it. Why would you fit to be a father? I believe that I'm a little bit too selfish to, oh. be, a, to be a father. Oh, so you a, ba I'm, you a beta male, huh? A beta male, huh? Yeah. yeah. Is, that, is that what you think? That was a question. Oh, a beta male? That's, uh, uh, that, that, that's are you a beta that's, male? Like uh, when you're cooking for the white man, uh, does it really feel like you know you're like actually making any sort of uh, statement? You said cooning for the white man. Yes. Are yes, you sir. are you white or black? I'm I'm a white man. You definitely blame you know black people for pretty much everything that that you know that's wrong with them, but you ignore all the systemic problems that do clearly exist with police brutality and things of that nature. There is no police brutality. Because you are, your father is Satan, all you're doing, and then your lack, father is Satan. And, and, and your lack of respect for black people, all you're doing is helping them stay in their hell hole by making excuses for them because you know, uh, secretly uh, in your heart, you know that you want them in that condition so that you can feel sorry for them, you can use them and all that because you don't love black people. If you loved black people, sure. you would not make up excuses for them. You would be honest sure. with them and hope that they will overcome. You don't love black sure. people, you're a hypocrite. No, sir, you, you just said that my father was Satan? Yes. Do you, re do you understand how disrespectful that is? Because no, it's not, true. I've been very respectful to you. And you said that I was cooning. not my father. When you said that I was cooning for the white man, was that well, respecting me? Well, you are. I mean, so are I, you respecting not, me when you say that? Uh, well, you know, I, I have no meaning to... Uh, I, Were you know, respecting me when you said that? Give me a yes or no. No. I didn't think so. I so you being a I hypocrite. I didn't believe you deserved the respect because I think so I have a piece And of so when I say Satan is your father, do you think I believe you deserve respect? 
No, but Satan is not my father. He I is. Satan is your, your father. You're a weak man. You're not worthy of children according to you. And the reason you're weak because you, Satan is your daddy. If Satan wasn't your daddy, who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? If Satan wasn't your daddy, you wouldn't be a weak beta male. Yeah, but what do you mean by beta male? Uh, a beta male is a male who look like a man but think like a woman. And, okay. that's, and that's you. I have with me Benjamin Dixon. Benjamin is the founder of the Progressive Army and host of the Benjamin Dixon Show. And I want to talk to Benjamin about President Trump, uh, the fallen Messiah, Barack Obama, how he failed this country so desperately. Your, um, um, first of all, your impression of the, the great white hope. This is the first year of him being elected. Mm. How would you rate him on a scale of one to 10, 10 being best? 10 being the best. I mean, for your audience, I'm sure your audience was going to say that Donald Trump is a 15, right? Uh, but in reality, in every measurable sense, um, he's he's a one, a, a negative. If we could give a negative rating, he's going to go down as the worst president in the history of this country and the most incompetent and the most laughable president that we've ever had. He's a, an embarrassment. He's a stain. You know, I didn't ask you about Obama. I'm talking about mm -hmm. I'm talking. <laughs> You're talking about your great I'm, white hope, right. your great white messiah yes. of Donald Trump. Right. right. You, you right. gave me because Jesse, because how, you, you, how gave do you me listen? Obama? I didn't ask about Obama. You, you're a man of uh, of God, right? You're, you're Reverend Jesse Lee, if, that, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct? That's correct. So how 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 can you honestly sit here and say to your audience with a straight face that you think Donald Trump is a great president? He's an embarrassment. How how do you look how at is what he does? An embarrassment. How he's an embarrassment. One, what one has he, he has a he has a speaking ability of I mean just he can't string together a coherent sentence to save his life right so he's 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 Benjamin uh, Benjamin, Benjamin yeah. calm down uh -huh. how I'm, number I'm, one you how, asked me a question and I'm, I'm how, answering how is he an embarrassment how is he the the better question would be how is he not no no an no how is he how, an how embarrassment? is he not an embarrassment that's not an I answer. Mean, Look at how he. Okay, let's go. How 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 much time do I have to give this specific answer? Give me a answer? quick answer as to how is he an embarrassment? What has he done to embarrass the country? He is an embarrassment on domestic policy. In what in, way? In every in, in in every sense of the way. No, like, no, it's, no, oh, that's it's not like an asking, answer. It's in like what asking, way? How's a son? How's he? What, okay, I'm going to do it from your perspective. How is he not an embarrassment when he couldn't even get? He has the House, he has the Senate, and he has the White House. He can't even repeal Obamacare that you guys have been trying to do for the last eight years. That should be an embarrassment to you. It, it's an embarrassment that he's trying to repeal and get 30 million people <laughs> off of health care. That Benjamin, should be an embarrassment. You're not answering. But, your goal, I'm answering your question. He you, should you, be an embarrassment to you. Here's number two. No, Why no, he should be an, an embarrassment to you? Number two is because he can't get tax breaks through. This is like the crown jewel of Republicanism, and Republicans are coming out in mass against a bill that should be a slam dunk for him. So, from your vantage point, how is he not an embarrassment? You realize you didn't give us anything, right? You're just throwing out words, but. Um... President Trump is uh, dealing with rhino Republicans who don't want him there. They don't want to do anything for the country. And in spite of that, he's still moving the country forward when it comes to How? dealing with the How? taxes. He now How has sweet. made a, a way has been, a made, been made so that he can take the taxes uh, to the next level. He have uh, put a conservative judge on the Supreme Court. He's brought back jobs already, and, and he's made a way where uh, companies that left this country because of restrictions and regulations and high taxes are now coming back. Uh, you talking about the uh, unemployment, deal in Indiana? The unemployment filing have gone down under the president. Are those the embarrassing things that you're talking about? When did Barack Obama's budget end? No, no, that's when not did the, the question. When the fiscal year for Barack Obama end? Are those the embarrassing, embarrassing things that you're talking about? Well, one, when did Barack Obama's fiscal year end? When did, when did, when is you're Donald Trump's economy, the question. when does Donald Trump's economy take place into full effect? Are those the embarrassing things that you're talking about? There was, yeah. I don't know what state this was in or what this person was <laughs> running for, but two transgenders won. Uh, one Democrat, Democratic male pretended to be a woman. 
beat a Republican who was against men going into women's bathroom. Are you for transgenders running for office offices in our country? Why would you? Why? Why would we not be? Why? Why should they not be able to run for office in the United States? No, Answer I'm asking that. you. Are you for that? Are you, are clearly, you, I'm, clearly, are you I'm in for... support? of transgenders running for office. Clearly, so let me answer this two ways. One, yes. Two, I'm I'm in favor for anyone and everyone who's a citizen of the United States to run for office. It, it, why would you not be? Why what why why should they be relegated to not being able to hold office in the United States of America? Just as in the military, if a man or woman is confused about his or her gender, that says that they're not stable enough enough to run See, Jesse, the country. Gonna, uh, uh, you were quoted as saying Jesus was a socialist. Absolutely. And I'm just following his lead. You absolutely. Be, as a Christian, you believe that Jesus uh, was a socialist? As a Christian, do you believe Jesus was a capitalist? Answer that question, Benjamin. As, particularly, I mean, See, I guess you don't understand the, that simple principle. Yes, of course, of course, Christ. I mean, honestly, you can't pigeonhole the kingdom of God economic system and what Republicans and conservatives like yourself have done for an entire generation is try to make You're a seamless completion. You're not answering completion. that question either. I actually am answering your question. You're I'm rambling your question. on it's about really, nothing. It's really that, Why Jesse, do you it's believe really that, you that Jesus, you, you what was it about, you was about you Jesus, what what about about Jesus, Jesus makes him a that capitalist? made you think that he was a socialist? What about Jesus makes him a capitalist I didn't, to you? I didn't say he was a capitalist, a capitalist either. I you never said that. I never said and that. Clearly, do you? Okay, so do you I believe he's a capitalist? I never said that, and that's not do my belief. Yeah. But What's your belief? What is the no, kingdom no, no. of God economic system? You're running away from the question again. What is the king? No, the real what was question it is about because you have Jesus? very... What? I'm sorry, Jesse. I can't entertain elementary questions, right? Because you have this rudimentary understanding of the entire of society in general, and and so you're trying to make it a, a, a strict dichotomy, right? A on off binary to say either he was a capitalist or socialist. But the the question really remains is that if you don't believe his, his system was uh, socialist, then what do you believe it was? Why because do people, you believe? Not, here, why do you thing. believe here's his a, system was a socialist system? Why do you believe that as a Christian? I believe that it was far closer to socialism than it was to the capitalism that many Christians are trying to shove down or are, are saying that he was. Christ was, what was not a, a capitalist. What was about Christ Jesus? What, was was, what did Jesus capitalist. do or say to imply that he was a socialist? You're not answering that. And you, you said you believe that he was a socialist. Yeah. What yeah. about him that caused you to believe that? What did he tell the rich young ruler? You're still asking questions. You're not answering questions. I, what did he tell? The, I'm sure your audience understands that question. What you was it about Jesus? It. I mean, you can't even tell me the answer to that simple what question. What did he so say? Not really on terms. Benjamin, You're not really able to have a conversation. Benjamin, what did Jesus do or say that implied to you that he's a socialist and caused you to believe that? Yeah, so, I mean... I just answered the question. No, you didn't. What, you asked he had the a question. fabulous conversation. He had a fabulous conversation with a rich young ruler. Benjamin, what about that conversation that made you think that Jesus was a socialist? Answer that. What did he say to that guy or do to that guy that caused you, Benjamin, to believe that Jesus was a socialist? Benjamin Dixon, I'd like to know that. 